Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my channel Tech with Eddie which is all about integrating your IoT devices with your preferred home automation ecosystem. In my past videos I have shown how I integrated my Synology NAS 218 Plus with HomeKit uh, plus tutorials uh, in installing Hoops and HomeBridge. Frankly speaking the Synology NAS uh, is an integral device in my home network as well as my workflow. So do take a look and uh, don't feel shy to hit the like and subscribe button uh, to follow along. So for those consumers like me who do have a Synology NAS, uh, there are other ways to take advantage of Docker. And so for the next couple of videos, a little bit of deviation for my regular routine, I will show a couple of simple uh, installations uh, to install five containers uh, in Docker in a more simplified manner. I use Docker because all of the applications run within one environment and they're all lightweight. So for those who want to update the Docker containers without any effort and automatically, today we will install and configure the Watchtower container in Docker. For all of these videos, I will be using Docker installed in my Synology NAS 218 Plus. So let's not waste time like I always say and let's jump into this tutorial. Let's log into our Synology. And uh, let's uh, hop over to the uh, Watchtower uh, link that I have in, included in the description to get more information on it and uh, if you go through this uh, it, it's basically uh, it pulls down your new image gracefully shuts down your existing container it starts with the same option that you use when it was deployed initially run the watch account with the following command so what it does basically it it uh, looks uh, uh, in within set period of time the updated containers provided you choose the latest tags it downloads it and uh, uh, has it updated but uh, to have this to have this uh, container up and running instead of using the user uh, interface we will go into the uh, synology server and just copy paste a command to have the docker installed okay so let's ssh and all you got to do is paste the uh, configuration that i have uh, in the description the, the entire command line okay sudo docker run the name of the uh, container that we want to uh, give it uh, if there's any failure to restart and the volumes that it needs to create okay it's just one line and the name of the container that's it no more no less and let's hit enter give your password it will download the image That's about it. Let's open up Docker. Go to our container. And uh, there we have the service running. Now remember, the Watchtower works as a service. You won't see any uh, user interface, nothing. Uh, it Time and time and again, it checks for an updated uh, latest uh, tag. And then it downloads it and updates it. So, there, uh, so that's how Watchtower works in the background. Finally, there we are. Collaboratively, we have installed the Watchtower container in Docker. In our next video, we will install the Portainer container. Now, to keep all of this going, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. That's the real driver. That's the real uh, motivator. The more, the merrier to bring all of this content to you. And if there's any doubt and if there's anything I can help with, you can also put down your comments uh, down below. So, until then, take care, stay safe, have a nice day, cheers, and ciao.